Mike Winger has put out just a tremendous documentary exposing Benny Hinn as a false prophet. And look, for many of us, we knew this already for decades and decades, but Winger really took the time to, you know, gather the the clips of Hinn and showing him, you know, really in his uh, in his true form, you know, with his his ways of promoting the prosperity gospel, his false healings, the false miracles, the false teachings, all of that. And what it turned into was this big thing where where Hinn and his ministry tried to go after Winger and, you know, get his his whole video taken down. They try to claim copyright and all these other things. And Winger actually thought for a while there that it, it might actually happen because he's gotten himself into some other situations in the past where other pastors that he's tried to expose uh, have been successful in getting some of his videos taken down. But not this time. Mike Winger actually getting a victory as it comes here uh, to this, this expose, if you will, of Benny Hinn. But now it appears that the Benny Hinn Ministries is in damage control. We're going to talk about all of it in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you, reminding you, as always, to walk by faith, not by sight. For someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story? How did I go blind? How do I operate my entire ministry without being able to see? I made a video that explains it all. You'll find a link to that in the description section of all my videos. Also, if God puts it on your heart to do so, consider making a generous donation to support my ministry. A few different ways you could do that. One, hit the super thanks button on the YT video here, or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link in the description. Joining Patreon, you get all the videos before they hit the main YT platform. Some exclusive links to these topics that we discuss as well. Plus, while you're there, you can comment censorship-free on all videos and even send me DMs. So check it out again. It's patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Now, Winger put the documentary out back uh, in early April. And it was just a few days after this that he already got hit with the first copyright claim. Now, this was from Jesus Image Church, which, of course, is run by Hinn's daughter and son-in-law. Now, according to Jesus Image, they claimed that the copyright that Winger had received was just something that came directly from YT, that it wasn't actually anything that they had submitted themselves. So they talked about that, and you know, after a little bit, Winger had appealed that, and he actually got the copyright taken off. So seemingly Winger was good to go until he wasn't. Then Benny Hinn Ministries got involved. Now, before I even say that, I want, I want to talk here about Jesus' image for a second because they took it upon themselves after the initial copyright was, was put on against Winger uh, to go ahead and, and speak from the pulpit about this and, you know, and really just, you know, take some, take some jabs at Winger uh, and the fact that, of course, he was exposing, you know, their, you know, it, well, <laughs> pastor's father father-in-law and um, of course Benny Hinn's daughter so they didn't appreciate the winger documentary then Benny Hinn Ministries gets involved and they try and hit Mike Winger with a copyright claim for you know using you know their clips and everything else like that winger actually posted all of the exchanges you know he the email that he got from YouTube uh, the the exact wording that Benny Hinn Ministries used to an attempt to try and get the winger documentary taken down all of that and to winger's credit you know, he responded back to this and said that this is all fair use. He has, he studied fair use. He knows a lot more about it than he used to. And he, you know, talked about, you know, I'm, I'm using these clips, but I'm speaking over them. I'm not running them for long periods of time. Nothing like that. He submitted that. And then YouTube agreed, said, yeah, you know what? You're right. There's nothing wrong here. So what did his ministry do? They appealed it. They tried, they were doing everything. You have to understand. I mean, Winger put them out there. I mean, he exposed them for who they truly are, that being Benny Hinn. And they went for the appeal, and it was denied. So, Mike Winger gets the victory here. Now, why do you think that Benny Hinn was doing this? Was it because that he was really concerned about the clips that Mike Winger was using? No. He was concerned about the context. The fact that, you know, this guy was... was basically throwing all of his business out there, providing thorough examples of how Benny Hinn has been deceiving people for, you know, the better part of 40 plus years now. And so Winger had responded and saying that, you know, if Hinn and his ministry want to take this any further, if they want to try to take me to court, I already have a lawyer that's ready on standby. 
And he said, I will win this. This is an important documentary that people need to see. And he's absolutely right. He's not going to let Benny Hinn take it down. Now, we have news that apparently Benny Hinn is in damage control. Ever since YouTube had denied their appeal to get the documentary taken down, all of a sudden now, multiple videos from Benny Hinn on the ministry's YouTube channel are being deleted. You want to talk about trying to cover up your tracks. They know. See, they know that documentary is staying up there. They don't want people seeing this. So they're doing everything. They're going back and they're deleting videos, you know, where, where Hinn is in rare form, right? Just, you know, throwing the, the stuff about money out there and, you know, like the prosperity and, you know, his false prophecies and healings again and, and all of that. And so they are rapidly deleting these videos. And you have to understand that they're doing so at the risk of losing a lot of money. You know, those videos generate millions of views on their YouTube channel. And they're going to be losing a lot of money over this because they have to do everything they can to protect that deceptive ministry at all costs. Even if that means losing some money on some of those videos, they'll do just that. No, instead of repenting, which is what Benny Hinn should really do. And no, I'm not talking about a couple of years ago when he supposedly repented of the prosperity gospel. He never really did. That whole thing was just an act to try and get people to think that he did. No. But instead of repenting, he has to really turn up the juice on the false ministry that he's running. And look, you're going to see this in these last days. These wolves now are getting more bold than they've ever been before. And the reason I say that is because if you think back to 40 years ago, right? 40 plus years ago, we didn't have a lot of the technology that we have today, right? People didn't have just this access to be able to to go online and, and, and read articles about who these men really were, you know, or, or listen to other, you know, commentators calling them out on, there was no social media back then. So, you know, the, the likes of the Benny Hins and the Kenneth Copelands of the world, it's just like, you just, people just took what they said as gospel. Why not? They're a ministry, right? They wouldn't lie to us. They're promising, they're linking our prosperity with money and everything else like that. And so now the game has changed. And because of technology, and thank God for it, God is now allowing these men to be exposed more than ever before. But they're, I mean, they're going to keep trying. Again, they're going to do everything they can to just scratch and claw and hang on to these ministries because they know that they still have a large majority of people that buy what it is that they're selling. They will defend them to no end. Forget the documentary. They won't even watch it. They'll refuse and say, I don't want to watch any of that. It's just all lies. It's just, you know, you're just trying to get them caught up and stuff. They won't even watch it because they're led by man. They worship man. It's the idol worship of man. These people don't care to worship God. They don't want to do their own research. They don't want to read their own Bibles. They want to listen to Benny Hinn. What is Benny Hinn going to tell me? So good on Mike Winger. And again, the fact that Benny Hinn is deleting these videos shows you they are guilty, they are afraid, and they're doing everything they can to stay in the game. But it's not a game to God. All these men who call themselves pastor, evangelist, whatever you want to call them, they all go before God one day. They have to give an account of life. Remember, these pastors are called to a higher account. If you call yourself pastor, you better be ready because that comes with a tremendous amount of responsibility and accountability. I don't know if they're ready for that. Again, I'm going to put some more information in the description here. You can let me know your thoughts. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. This is an altar call. I've been doing this on my videos since 2016. No matter what it is that I'm discussing here in the church and exposing the false prophets, we always want to give people the opportunity to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. So for anybody watching now, if you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ into your life, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away 
and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash notbysightnews or just hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make a contribution that way. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.